going to be the back of that. I have to wrangle three pounds, two ounces of fury. Make sure you guys share this. Just got started. think so. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, I use that spare tube. I have a second one. Um, right here. Just grab another one for this. Okay, it's very powerful. So, where are you going to poke them? I'm going to go for. Because I can hold this face much. Yeah, hold this face. I'm going to go for the, the inner eye first. It's 
gonna be really hard because you just gonna bite it. Did he get Revolution? Yeah, he okay. got it yesterday. Oh, perfect. Okay. I just saw the video of it. Damn, I'm going to your box now. Yeah. You've got to go away for a minute so I can clean in there. <laughs> he actually was sitting in the box when I went in there. Of course, for the first time ever. <laughs> nice. All right, guys. Well, if you just joined, that is our newest rehab baby. He's about seven weeks old now, weighed three pounds, two ounces. He's already gained half a pound since arriving. And um, Connie is gonna go into his little crate in his room so that I can actually clean in there when we're done. So the next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be netting Orpheus and trying to get an additional swab from him to recheck him after he was positive for uh, Khaleesi virus. So that is next up on the list. So I'm just gonna keep this running. We did a snap test and took some blood work and Justin got a good visual of the new baby. So his intake exam is done. Something else I think you guys saw on Jamie's page. Anything else? Okay. So somewhere here's the baby. Um, yes. Um, my car's really slow. Can I borrow yours? Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have us left those. I don't know if it was something we should start calling on new cats. Where did the baby go? He wants to be behind the house. Oh, I was going to say. Not in that one. Baby Hopper, show you guys. So, another new rehab baby. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I'm going to back him up to grab something. Oh, okay. Yeah. Look at baby. Camera that summer is on. Alright, well, we'll go outside for a second, and that way I can take my mask <laughs> Alright, so Afton needed to run to grab another tube in order for us to retest Morpheus. So, really quickly, yeah, if any of you guys are watching Stranger Things right now, Jamie and I watched that, and I absolutely love that she named the baby Buddy Hopper. So I think I've shown you guys the outdoor areas. This um, room here is for our sweet little baby Bob that you guys just saw his intake exam. We tried to do it as quickly as possible. And then this one goes to the room that Orpheus is in. We're really, really hoping for um, him to come back with negative results which would be positive <laughs> because then we would be able to start the process of letting him um, go outside and like live in an outdoor enclosure so i'm going to stay live we'll just we have a little bit of a, a lull here because afton gets to bring one of the tubes we need or something i'm not sure what happened there but we're gonna wait on the snap test results for makani as well so this is the rehab hospital if you guys have never it before. <laughs> I agree, no spoilers. I'm only on episode four. I keep like being like, nobody talk about it. <laughs> yeah, it's getting very windy. Actually, you'll see. We've got like beautiful blue skies and big fluffy clouds, and then we have some very dark, scary clouds forming. I had a tornado touchdown on my neck of the woods yesterday. Not thankfully super close to our house, but it's always scary nonetheless. So if you guys joined in late, uh, our sweet little baby boy just got his intake exam. We'll let you guys know um, if there's 
there's anything to know from that, but they swabbed his nose and his mouth to send that out um, to check for Khaleesi virus. He's been vaccinated already. Yesterday, Jamie caught him, weighed him, and put his flea medication on him. So it's kind of just given him time to eat and play. And as soon as I shut down this live, I'll go in his room and completely clean it up. He played in his water all morning, so I'm sure there's lots of footprints everywhere. <laughs> Good for him. <laughs> He weighed three pounds, two ounces as of yesterday. So Jamie said he's already put on a half a pound in the week that he's been here. All right, so go back in. Just came out to breathe some fresh air for a second. We are still wearing our masks anytime that we're within four feet of a cat or we are in any of the cat hospitals. Thank you to everybody helping out in the comments. Little old man. <laughs> She's hot. Yeah, she is hot. This is a public cam, right? It's got a link out there, so Summer's go new camera. Rotate it. <laughs> yeah, it's a little, a little sideways. Is it another Bricotta? Because it looked like an Explorer. Uh, I think it's me. like one of the more expensive Bricotta Oh, okay. Look at that face. It might move. I can't remember. Do we know if she had like sickles? Uh, I don't know if I've given her one since she was like teeny tiny out there. And I'm gonna move Summer out to the main grounds soon. Okay. But I want to plan it for a day that you can come out so we can raise these back to me. <laughs> so we don't have to catch her twice. <laughs> her cage isn't ready. We have to get it ready first. But, um, and then Lucifer got sedated in January. Is it too soon to sedate him? No. If, you think, he, if you think he needs a shave down, it's going to get to the hottest time. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's never outside. Yeah. But he's got mats, like, on his chest area. Mm -hmm. And get him most of them off his face, but he doesn't want to be picked on his chest. Since we're just wasting time for a second, can any of you tell our, the viewers what you did uh, blood work wise and what the snap test is and all of that fun stuff? Um, so today we just did a very basic stuff since the cat's uh, not sedated. I didn't want to pull full blood work. It'd be kind of stressful for the animal. Um, so we did a nasal swab, mainly check for Khaleesi since we've had some incidences of Khaleesi in the wild population. So mm -hmm. we're kind of, I think we might just make that standard when we take in a cat. Mm -hmm. um, we also did a snap test, the test for FIV and leukemia, um, which you might be a false, a false positive, very light on uh, FIV. So we'll probably resedate the cat and send it out to a lab mm -hmm. and not use a, a snap test. We'll get it done in a lab. Um, and then I think the cat's already been vaccinated and it's already had its uh, flea, flea treatment. Flea treatment. So, and we started all the dewormers. Yeah, and all exactly. That. And so like it right now it's just kind of, since it's a semi healthy cat, we usually stay pretty hands off and, yeah. probably around 16 weeks when the cat's due for rabies I think we may sedate and do a full physical exam only because of that slight positive and we'll send it out and right. confirm okay awesome thanks alright we have the tube <laughs> I was like I think she went oh, for a tube <laughs> she did I don't have my staff car today the coordinator car and it runs much slower <laughs> so I'm <laughs> Do you need Lauren to help? Um, I'm not filming this, so I can help. Yeah, we might. Somebody might like somebody cover and then I'll fold. Okay. Yeah, because I'm going to be okay. useless, so <laughs> the more hands, the better. <laughs> Uh, it's 
he could get kind of hung up on the metal bits. So this is going to be for a recheck on Orpheus. I was going to say, it happens to me every time I come in this room, but that's exactly the view that I have. <laughs> Lauren's been a part of both terrible nettings. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> <laughs> 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 
All right, guys. Well, thank you very much to anyone and everybody who donated, and we'll let you guys know um, any future results that pop up. And I'm going to get to cleaning, so thank you guys so much.